Kill me, Commodus. No. I've got no choice but to do this dirty job, but you were born a prince and will become the emperor. Why do you do it? <laughs> Come on. in the same way. You'll be slaughtered by someone without a shred of pity. A man like you. I think that Tyrunius Grossus is out looking for trouble. Go and make sure he finds it immediately. <laughs> Those magnificent beasts, worthy of me. Tomorrow I'll fight the two together. That'll be horribly dangerous. I'll run them through one after the other. And I'll give you the skins to warm your little feet. <sighs> Hail, Cleander. What's the latest news? I've just received a message from your father. The Emperor says that he wants you to go and join him immediately. 
In Pannonia? By all the gods, imagine what it would mean to stay a month away from Rome without the arena. Why can't you tell him that I just won't... It's impossible to do anything, Commodus. This is an order from the Emperor. Ah, we never paid any attention to orders from the Emperor before. You especially, Cleander, with your companion Leto, have managed always to do as you please with the people, imprisoning them under false arrest and torturing them whenever you wanted to. Always with your consent, and don't forget it. All right, I remember. But now don't bother me with your orders. By the precious girdle of Venus, my father wants to lecture me over the terrible shortage of food around here. But what fault is it of mine if the idiots are dying of hunger? Your father wants to have you near him because he's dying. Isn't that a sufficiently good reason? I'm leaving immediately. You, Leto, will come with me. I shall be waiting for you. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, and what else is there for you to do, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Your father, the Emperor Marcus Aurelius, is no more. Long live Commodus, our new Emperor! Long live Commodus, our new Emperor! There, there he is, Melanius. We've got to catch it. Don't let him get away. It's gone into that hole. Hey, you. <laughs> what in the name of Zeus is happening over there? What are you chasing? We were trying to catch a rat, a fine big one, to make a meal of it. <laughs> Surely the divine Commodus hasn't by chance placed a tax on vermin. Certainly not, and I suggest that we invite them to come to the banquet. There he is. He's coming out. Healthy traitors, cruel tyrants. Why don't you give us a little bread instead of forcing us to eat rats? Go and tell that to your new Emperor Commodus. Forward, Praetorian! You coward! The commanders of the legions in Pannonia want to continue the war against the barbarians and to destroy them all. That was the wish of the Emperor Marcus Aurelius. And now I have become the Emperor. The old orders have been changed. This war is costing us far too much money. And the Empire is large enough as it is. Also, Rome has had quite enough of fighting wars. My people want to amuse themselves. And I'm going to see to it that they do. They'll have the most fabulous spectacle seen in this city since the first day it was founded. He stole the bone you threw to your dog. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Please let me go. No, help, help me. Well done, Caesar. Don't drink any more, Commodus. Marcia, I appreciate your ability in loving, not your intelligence. And it's because I love you that I prefer you to stop drinking. Sometimes I'm pleased to imitate Mars and sometimes Bacchus. 
I want a woman beside me who doesn't bore me with her stupid chattering. Which one of you luscious young creatures wants to bring happiness into the life of her sad emperor? You! Come here. No, not that way, Lito. Your brutal manners will frighten away this pretty little pigeon. Sit down. What is your name, eh? Emilia. 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 You're lovely, you know. My type. How is it that I've never noticed you before? She's only just arrived. She's come here from Sabina. Mm. Uh, that's correct. My father was honored with the friendship of Marcus Aurelius, and when he died, I was granted the privilege of coming here to your court. Emilia. Emilia, why don't you embrace me? The Sabines are known to be very frigid women. <laughs> don't listen to her. She talks like that because she's jealous. <laughs> the Sabines are our famous maternal ancestors. Come here. Come to me, beautiful Sabine girl. Come here. May the gods assist us. This one promises to surpass even the lechery of Caligula. And I say we must stop it. What do you mean, Tarunius? Is the second legion under Marupius in Gaul? Yes, it is. Marupius is in Calesius, not far beyond the Rubicon. The Rubicon, huh? History is repeating itself. So once again, the die is cast. He's prudent, Tarunius. He's got his eye on you. Don't commit yourself too hastily. You know I'm your friend and my opinion of all this. One can lose one's head these days. And we can only be of some use as long as we're able to remain alive. I know, Pertinax. And I know from experience that to leave a banquet before it is finished is offensive to Caesar. But I repeat, the die is cast. In any case, tonight they're all blind drunk. And no one will notice me. Listen to me. What is it? I am a senator, and I'm looking for the centurion, Lucius Crassus. Do you know him? Can you tell me where to find him? I was going to him myself. I'm his first officer. Good. We'll follow you. I don't advise you to do that. It's not a suitable place for senators. He's busy fighting against the Gauls. But the Gauls are under Roman dominion. <laughs> well, they don't know that. Perhaps you should tell them about it. They've attacked our garrison with twice the number of men we have. Lucius sent me to find reinforcements. And have you found them? Not even one soldier. I'm on my way to tell them now. Farewell. Ha! Ha!
Lucius! Help! Forgive me. I haven't time to thank you. Let it go. You owe me another hundred sesterces. Did you find reinforcements? Yes, but only in promises. Marupius can't spare even one legionary, but he told me he's firmly convinced I that see. we're such good fighters we can manage alone. Lucius, I almost forgot. What is it? Marupius wants one prisoner left alive, the chief of the insurrection. Don't let them escape! Capture every last man! Surrender! Throw down your arms! Round up the prisoners! Take them alive! They're a dirty, cowardly lot. They're descendants of wild pigs. It looked as if they were all trying to get me. And why not? You're the biggest. <laughs> I don't see us go and look for their chief. His name is Tyrolvius. I hope he's among the prisoners. I'm afraid I've already killed him. That's the only go thing on, you're good go for. On. You've got the instinct uh. of a born butcher. <laughs> <laughs> there was an ugly moment when I thought you were really done for, Lucius. I saw you disarmed in front of a Gaul who was built like a mountain. I wish I'd been able to help you out and bring my prize money up to a thousand sesterces, but it simply wasn't possible. How did you get out of that one? Tell me. I use a secret blow. You can easily find yourself without a sword on the battlefield when your opponent is fully armed. In that case, you're finished without a secret blow like mine. Ah, a fine friend you are. Why didn't you teach it to me? I'll do that right now. Here. Take this sword. Come on, strike me. <coughs> <laughs> what do you think of it? Fantastic. You've got a kick like a mule. I thought you'd knock the head Look, off my shoulder. sees that his opponent is swordless. He gets careless, overconfident, and does exactly what you did just now. One step forward, then his sword arm up and back, ready to strike you. You must learn to take advantage of that moment, understand? Right. And you certainly took advantage of that moment. Are you Lucius Crassus? Yes. Who are you? He's a senator. I've come here from Rome to speak with you. He's probably got an ugly daughter to marry off. <laughs> <laughs> Go count the prisoners. Have all the bodies prepared for burning. We're going to leave here immediately. Good. Well, what have you got to say? Let us talk privately. What I have to say is for your ears alone. And that is the absolute truth. You must believe me, Lucius. <laughs> I am the brother of Emperor Commodus. You must be joking, Senator. You have a large birthmark, dark brown in color, on your thigh. Well, yes, that's quite right. But so have lots of people. In any case, what does it mean? That I held you in my arms shortly after you were born. Listen carefully to me, young man, for when you have heard the story, there will only be one choice for you. Obedience or death. Thirty years ago, Faustina, wife of Marcus Aurelius, gave birth to twins. One was Commodus. The other twin was declared to have died at birth. But that was not the case. Certain reasons of state made it necessary for us to falsify the truth. Three of us were present at that moment. I, my colleague Helvetius, and the centurion Octavius Craticus, a guard of the late emperor. I was given orders to get rid of the newborn baby. The people were to be told that it had died of convulsions in my arms. Octavius Craticus was to bring the news to the emperor. And the three of us swore a tremendous oath to keep the secret for as long as we lived. I was forced to do it. The future of the Roman Empire depended on it. All the same, it was horrible. As the baby was lying on a heap of branches and leaves as though in a nest without sinking. I saw by this that the gods had given me a sign which must be obeyed. I rescued the baby and handed him over to a kind peasant family. I only told them your name, Lucius Crassus, gave them a good sum of money and they saw to your upbringing until at the age of 15 you entered the army. I wished, however, to tell the truth to the other two people involved with me in this whole business and they approved of what I had done. Shortly after, the Senator Helvetius died, and Craticus, now a general, is in Silesia. Now, Centurion Lucius Crassus, you know all. After 30 years, why do you speak now? I've betrayed my oath because Rome and the Empire are in the hands of a fool and a libertine. The heritage of Romulus, of Caesar, and of Augustus must surely be saved. 
I still haven't said I believe this fantastic story. But if I do, what's it got to do with me? Just what do you want from me? Commodus has to be deposed. But Rome will never see again a madman such as he. But you shall continue in the steps of Marcus Aurelius. The same blood runs in your veins. The frontiers of the empire must be enlarged and reinforced. Its supremacy over all acknowledged. Who can do it but a young man who has been a soldier and one of great valor, too? And you, Lucius, are all these things. No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to. I've always been used to fighting with the legions as a soldier. And that's all I ask of you. What Rome needs now is a man who has proved strong and true in battle. You will have beside you men who are wise in the ways of government, who will advise you well. You must leave immediately for Rome. I'll go before you. With Senator Pertinax, I will prepare our plan carefully. As soon as you arrive in Rome, come to my house. I'll be waiting for you. Just a moment, Senator. I can't possibly do it. You're a soldier, you told me. A soldier obeys orders. Centurion, you know where your duty lies. Yes, but... So now I've got a brother. A fine twin brother. Unfortunately, there are no doubts as to the truth of the information the we have received. The brother who wants to seize my empire? By Zeus, I don't want any brothers around! In fact, you have none. You may consider him as dead, Commodus. Why didn't you come immediately, the moment you were summoned? But I did come immediately, Divine Caesar. And why are you standing there just like a statue? You know you excite me. But I can't possibly make love to a statue. I don't want to force you into making love with me. I want you to desire me and come into my arms spontaneously. You see what an advantage an emperor has. He may even order a spontaneous kiss. <sighs> By Zeus, you're a pretty witch. But that's enough now. I must go into battle and you're distracting me. You want to take him from me, don't you? I do. Yes, you. And what are you hoping for, that he'll marry you? You already feel like his empress, don't you? It's only jealousy that makes you say that, Marcia. I've never done a single thing to lure Commodus on, and you know it. I'm not a fool. You're shamming. You've constantly refused the courtship of all other men, so you'd be free to have the emperor. But you're mistaken. Because I love him in every way. And I'm not going to allow you to steal him from me. Remember that! Why in the name of Zeus we have to race in this crazy way to get to Rome, I still can't understand. Since they've decided to give us some leave, then let's take it easy. Rome isn't far now and won't run away. I don't see why we have to gallop all the way. I don't want to go on any more the way we've been going. <laughs> I've got to get to Rome as fast as we can make it. 
I can't tell you the reasons now, but when we get there, I think I may be able to explain everything. Now let's try to get some sleep. At dawn, we'll start out again. By all the gods, I'll arrive in Rome with all my bones broken. <laughs> Good night, friends. piece of rock. Oh! Wake up, both of you. We've got visitors. With this fight, I only owe you 400 sesterces. 500. Don't cheat, Horatio. But they're worth double. They gave me a lot of trouble, Panuncius. Hey, does this happen every night around here? Why do you think those Praetorians attacked us like that? Well, either they made a mistake, or there must be some very important reason. I think the reason was important, and it's time I told you all about it. You incompetent idiots! I'll see to it that you'll be sorry for your inefficiency for the rest of your lives. You were beaten and put to flight by three miserable legionaries. Just try to make sure you keep them in sight. Get on your horses and ride after them. And so I promised Tarunius I'd join him in Rome. You? The brother of Commodus. Once there, I'll know what to do. If I'm to believe this fantastic story and what I should do about Commodus. You? Emperor of Rome. <laughs> Not yet. But what happened tonight proves that the story the senator told you was true. By the ears of the gods, what Horatius says is right. And it proves that the emperor, or at least Cleander, knows all about it. Of course. Who else would want to make sure of getting rid of you? Now you see why we'd better hurry and get out of this place as fast as we can and avoid all the main roads if we want to get to Rome alive. This is wonderful. We are going to have a great time, Venusius. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
A few hours of galloping ahead and we'll be there. In pieces, but in Rome. If we enter Rome by this oblicious bridge, we shouldn't meet any trouble. Better not. They'll be sure to watch all the roads coming from the north. We'll go towards the sea. We'll cross the Tiber at the mouth and come to Rome from the other side. I've done it before and remember the way. Let's hurry. No mistake, Centurion. If you want to earn the gratitude of the Emperor, you'd better make sure they don't escape you. Be off! Look over there! Right on! into a trap. What are we going to do, Lucius? The sea's behind us. And I don't know how to swim. We've got to pass through. Well, follow me. We'll check them completely. They are. Gods, if it wasn't for those quicksands, we'd be sure to catch them. Now they've got all the time in the world to escape. By then, they'd crossed the Tiber at the ford and entered Rome. I'm sure an entire legion couldn't have stopped them from coming here. Because you are inefficient, a lot of imbeciles. You've had them twice in your incompetent hands, and you've allowed them to get away easily. Idiots! You're underestimating that man, Cleander. Well, if Lucius has eluded two attempts to get him... He won't easily get away from a third one. Prepare all your men quickly and we're sure to get him. Where is he? I'll tell you later. We are free to act as we please. Fortunately, Commodus, right at this moment, 
seems to be otherwise occupied. Do as I told you. It's very upsetting, my poor little Marcia. It's more than I ever imagined I could suffer. All princes, kings and emperors are very susceptible. And I've got to admit that Emilia has not been encouraging him. She always refuses him, and that's a very risky thing to do. But even that changes nothing. You can't possibly imagine what I'm feeling. Yes, of course I can understand you perfectly. I promise I'll help you. You? Yes. I've loved you for so long I can't even remember when it started. And why haven't you told me before? Declare love to the mistress of Commodus. Don't you think I'm mad? But now I'm going to do you a great service, and one day you will reward me well for it. I'll wait for my reward, Marcia. I know you'll be generous. No! No! Oh, Commodus, no! No! <laughs> oh, you ham-fisted idiot! What's the use of escaping from the Praetorians when you... Well, I'm doing the best I can. Oh, come on, let me take care of it. Do you remember the wounds I patched up in Britain, lads? Those were the days, all right. <laughs> we're all indebted to you, Pompey. Oh, that's nonsense. Between friends and comrades, there's no such thing as gratitude. And in my warehouse, you'll be comfortable and quite safe now. Yes, it was a very old and beautiful tavern once. I was forced to close it because of the famine. And uh, what's down there? The wine cellar. I dug out a passage that leads right down to the Tiber. I used it to unload my barrels of wine. I'm going to my appointment with Senator Tarunius. Wait here. May the gods go with you, Lucius. Thank you. wasn't so difficult after all to capture the centurion Lucius. <laughs> Emilia! Where is Emilia? Have her brought here at once. Don't bother to call her, Commodus. She won't come. What do you mean? To begin with, you'll be interested to hear that your dear twin brother is to be found in the Solaria dungeons. That's wonderful news, Cleander. You've done extremely well. Let's let him stay there for some time so he can ponder the situation. <laughs> what were you saying about Amelia? Hmm, well, she was part of a conspiracy to murder you. Leto has already had her imprisoned. Amelia? That can't be true. You're making it up. You really want to possess that girl, don't you, Commodus? Yes. Well, then, what situation could be more satisfactory? A few days in prison will overcome all her reluctance. And the next time she comes before you, you'll find her a more reasonable girl. You're right, Cleander. By the golden mantle of Venus, you're perfectly right. That was a piece of luck. 
I played badly, that's all. You should never play with friends. Water. You're very good help. some water. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to give us some water. Shut up. You heard what Centurion Lucius Crassus said to you. Bring him some water at once. You know me? Certainly I do. I fought under your command in Gaul. Then I lost my right hand and ended up as chief warden here in the Solaria prison. Is there anything else you want? Yes. Some food. For everyone. Very well. It won't be a feast, but I'll do my best for you. Thanks, friend. What's your name? Emilia. Mine's Lucius. Come and get the water. Thank you, Lucius. You've been very kind to me. Why are you here? I don't know. I was allowed to join the court in Rome on the death of my father, who was the first counselor to the Emperor Marcus Aurelius. But Commodus took a violent fancy to me, and from that moment on, he wouldn't leave me in peace. I found him repulsive. I couldn't bear the thought of having him touch me. But what are you charged with? I swear to you, I don't know. Not even the Praetorian who arrested me knew what it was about. Orders of Cleander, he told me. Cleander? Do you know who he is? A dangerous madman like Commodus. And you. I suppose you don't know why you were arrested either. <laughs> On the contrary. I was prepared for it. You see, I was playing for very high stakes. I just couldn't win. You mean that... Yes, but I have no regrets. I only leave two friends. But haven't you any family? <laughs> A brother. Can't he do anything for you? Can't he use his influence to help you? Centurion! Come over here. Open the gate, you. Thanks. Tell me, please, why are you doing all this for me? I don't know. Or maybe I do. Because I have no girl. No girl who will ever mourn for me. How did that happen? I've been very stupid. All I ever thought about was fighting, wars. Because I never met anyone like you. <laughs> What's the news? What's happened? They've taken him to the dungeons at Is Solari. he wounded? What are they going to do to him? He isn't wounded. As for what they're going to do to him, that's not difficult to imagine. Then if he's alive, there's still a chance. You'd like to attack the prison, Horatius, is that right? To set Lucius free? Well, you can forget it. The only thing to do is stay here and hope for the best. I wasn't able to find out anything, Centurion. I asked if any orders had come for you. Nothing. Three days. I've been here three days. And you're still alive. That's the important thing. I've got to go now. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm sorry I woke you up. Tell me once again you love me. I love you, Amelia. All your sweet words. And your presence here make this horrible dungeon almost bearable. Now you'll think I'm silly, won't you? No, I feel the same way. I wish I had met you before. I'm sorry to disturb you. I've come to talk to you, Amelia. What do you want? To make a bargain with you. A bargain? Yes, you're in this awful place because of me, but I don't want you to be hurt any further. I only want you to get out of Rome at once. What do you mean? 
It's possible for me to get you out of here, but you must promise me that you will leave the court and go back to Sabina and stay there. Have the Centurion Lucius released at once. Hurry with those keys. Follow me. wouldn't have been disappointed in the very least. I had a strange feeling it was quite true that I had a twin brother. In fact, I couldn't doubt the story Tarunius told. The senator was much too stupid and too honest to have invented the whole thing himself. Neither am I disappointed. You're just what I thought you'd be. A cruel, pitiless, corrupt man. But you won't be on the throne much longer. I'm sure you'd do anything to become emperor, wouldn't you, brother? I hadn't intended it before, but seeing what you are, the answer is yes. <laughs> Do you find I'm so excessively dissolute? You're even worse than Caligula. <laughs> Weren't you surprised when the Praetorian guards didn't put you to death immediately? I'll tell you why. Because after all, a brother always remains a brother and one can't permit him to die at the hands of vulgar soldiers. It's my opinion that a brother should be quietly eliminated personally. Certain quarrels must be settled in the family. <laughs> made my decision. I'll fight Commodus with all my strength. And we'll do our best to help you, won't we, Panunzius? Surely. Thank you, my friends. We've no time to lose. Tarunius told me the people would be on my side, because everyone hates Commodus and Cleander. I saw proof of that when I was in prison. We must prepare a revolution. You're right. But we haven't got a lot of time with the Praetorians searching for you all over the place, Lucius. That's why we'll get started right away. Pompey, have you got some good friends you can trust? Capable of inciting the people? Certainly I have. Well, get going. We'll meet in front of Sixtus' shop. It won't be long before we can get into a good fight. Mind Lucius. you, don't forget. Just stick close, eh? What for? This time I'm really going to get rich. Ah, <laughs> you. These men are very good friends of mine. I can guarantee they're the people we're looking for. That's good. I'm glad to know you're all going to be with us. <laughs> what are your plans? It won't take much to arouse the people. Come with me. We're with you, Lucius. Hey, you stop where you are. What's that you're hiding there? Uh, uh, nothing. It's nothing to cure him. Nothing, nothing. Let's have a look. Wheat flour. Tell me where you stole it. No, I never stole it. I begged it off some peasants in the country. I walked miles and miles to find it. You lying old fool. Prison will teach you not no, a lie no, to me. Give it to me. Give me back my flour. It's for my grandchildren who are starving. Oh, please let me have it. It's mine. It's mine, the Gurion. This is please, the chance I was please. waiting for. Give no, me that sword. No, no. Uh, leave me a little of it. Have mercy. On me. You coward! <laughs> We're going to overthrow Commodus. 
Coming right away, puppy. Come on down, all of you. on the Imperial Palace. When we're in the neighborhood of the Solaria prison, we'll divide up our forces. Horatius, Panuncius, your men and myself will storm the prison. We'll free Amelia and the other prisoners. At the palace, they'll soon hear of the revolt. They'll send out reinforcements. So when you and your men get to the palace, I don't think you'll find much opposition. We'll free the prisoners before the reinforcements arrive. To the palace! <laughs> The uprising started at last! See you later, Poppy. We're going to the prison. Good luck, Lucius. Watch out now. Follow me. hundred people gathered there who were shouting to overthrow the Emperor. Ah, they only want to plunder one of the granaries. Where are you going? I was going to warn Cleander. That's not necessary. Bring in the Praetorians and have them throw those noisy fools off the streets. They'll run off just at the sight of you. Lucius! Did they get away? Yes, it didn't take them very long to free themselves. Good. Be sure to warn us when the Praetorians arrive. Come on, there's no time to lose. Hurry! Go to the Solaria prison. The rebels have attacked us. Hurry to the prison! Come on, get up! might have the keys. We'll make them come out. Put out the torches. Hey, what's going on here? Outside! What's going on? What's going on here? 
Where are you? Here I am. A lucky thing. You were behind me. Don't worry about it now. We'll settle up later. The light of the gods. It's a centurion, Lucius. He's an old friend of mine. Hurry, open up. Lucius. Lucius! Two detachments of Praetorians are outside trying to batter down the gates. We've got to find some way to escape from this trap. Follow me. been trapped. People of Rome, my own people, what has made you turn against me? What have I done to deserve this? I have never been concerned with government. I have spent all my time competing in the arena to give pleasure to all of you honest citizens. And you've enjoyed it, too. You've always applauded me. You'd have done much better if you'd fed your starving people. You should have thought of giving us the chance of living like decent human beings. All of your misfortunes are the responsibility of one man alone. And I will hand him over to you because I wish to see justice done. No. What are you doing? He's lying. It's not true. I'm innocent. Let me go. I tell you, let me go. It's not true. You've got to let me go! No! No! Let me go! It's not true! Please! No! 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 We must 
find a way to attack them from the rear. Look, we might be able to use that. We'll climb up there on the platform and have some men let it down on the farther side. That way we'll surprise them from the rear. That's a good idea, Horatius. You and I and Panuncius and... And me. And you. Don't join in till you get a signal from me. Amelia, you stay here. I'll see you when it's all over. Let's go! it up. Come on, hurry. Get those gates down. Let the horsemen through. The witch has gotten stuck. Jump off! Hurry! <laughs> of Rome. With the death of Cleander, the days of injustice and misery are over at last. I have already ordered a generous distribution of oil and wheat flour, and I will organize for you magnificent spectacles in the arena. I order that the imperial warehouses shall be opened to the public without further delay. Bring attention! Going. What are you doing, you fool? Don't leave here. Don't believe a word he says. He's dead, Lucius. And I didn't even know his name. Come, we must join Pompey. Long live Pompey! Lucius, have you heard the news? Yes, we were going to the palace and we came upon the people who were emptying the warehouses. I first took care of Amelia and then came to find out what had happened. I made the great mistake of allowing Commodus to speak to the people. Now I know I should have killed him immediately. He's as sly as a fox. He knows how to work on the emotions of the populace. He can judge their reactions. That's what he learned in the arena. Let's go to our hideout and make new plans. Do, Lucius. Commodus isn't going to forget what almost happened to him that night and will do his best to catch us all, that's it. We can't do anything but wait until we get a favorable opportunity. In the meantime, Horatius will go to Silesia and find Octavius Craticus. Octavius Craticus? Oh, but of course, he'll be an ideal witness to the fact of your royal birth. You must persuade him to come to Rome at once. We need him. I propose a toast to Lucius Crassus, Emperor of Rome. Lucius, Lucius Crassus, Crassus, Emperor of Rome. You can leave it to me. We were beaten in this one battle, but we're going to win the war. <laughs> Come on, get out. But why? What is this? Tell me what I've done, Lito. You're a dirty traitor, Claudius Serpinus. Hurry up, you in there. Come on, throw them out. Hurry up. All my slaves. My own house. All my belongings. They're all confiscated. That is the law. But what for? I must know. What crime have I committed? I'm afraid I can't remember. Get a move on, all of you. Bring him to the Mamertine prison. I want to be really generous towards you. I wouldn't like it to be said that I'm even more cruel than Cleander. 
Perhaps you can regain your liberty if you give me 2,000 sesterces, eh? <laughs> It's Lee Dose Praetorius! Hurry, make them open the door. Don't be alive! Hey, Lito, there's no need for you to batter down my house. Ah, so you're here, Senator. Why? Didn't you expect to see me? We were informed that you had escaped. After all, traitors always try to escape justice. Don't you agree? What am I accused of, Leto? You were an intimate friend of Tyrrhenius Crassus, weren't you? Or were you not? I was his friend. But I believed him in good faith and honest. Huh. In such good faith and so honest that he betrayed Rome and his emperor. You know what became of Tyrrhenius. And you were one of his close friends. That is to say... You were his most intimate friend. I was ignorant of his interest. Prove it, Senator! Forward, men! Wait a minute. Your Praetorians won't be able to find a thing, Leto. You know, maybe I could pay up 5,000 sesterces immediately. As well as 1,000 for you, personally, of course. So you'll be able to say that you found it quite easy to bribe me. Who's going to know what's happened? Commodus loathes me now, and my life is in jeopardy all the time. I want you to have an interest in keeping me alive, so that your interest and my life both last as long as possible. I'll be back before nightfall. Come, men! My poor Tarunius, the method is quite different, but the result will be the same. the latest news about my dear brother. He was probably killed during the attack on the prison. Why probably? We've been searching for him day and night. And I won't stop looking until I can bring you his severed head. Just be sure you find him. Have you brought me the money? Look here. By all the gods. Leto, you're great. I never expected you'd get so much. We've got enough for one, two, maybe even three shows in the arena. Take this, it's yours. I don't want anything. For me, it's enough to have satisfied my Emperor Commodus. You know, you do surprise me, Leto. You're sure you want nothing. Tell me truthfully what you'd like to have. Uh, nothing. Huh. I know you've always desired her. You want her? Take her then. Commodus, what is this? <laughs> You're only joking, aren't you? I love you. I'm yours only. <laughs> but Leto wants you. <laughs> you can't just throw me into the arms of another, to a disgusting individual like Leto. A thief, a murderer, a filthy coward. I won't accept him or anyone else. Quiet, woman. You'll do whatever I order you. Don't you worry, old friend. If I want it, Marcia shall be yours. And that's what I want. Commodus, you must have lost your mind. You've already destroyed the good name of your father, and now you're turning against the few people who still believe in your better nature. You'll remain alone without a friend in the hands of a mob who'll tear you to pieces like Leander. You'll be murdered. I don't know who has taught you to risk saying such things, but don't let me see you again, neither here nor anywhere else. Just disappear, you viper. But be careful I don't find you, because you can be sure I'll crush you. has been thrown out of the palace. Follow her closely and find out where she's taking refuge. Very well. Fine oil lamps. Look at these fine oil lamps. That's all for oil. Oil lamps. 
Handmade oil utensils. lamps. Open utensils here. Look at these fine oil lamps. Buy your fine terracotta. Emilia. Marcia. Oh, they've passed by. What's going on? Where were you going? Commodus decided to get rid of me. Lito is planning to kill me. I've got to get as far from Rome as possible, but I've got nowhere safe to go. Why do you have to go far away when you could come and hide with us? If they haven't found the place by now, they won't ever be able to find it. Thank you, Emilia. I was afraid you remember my unkindness. Oh, I've forgotten it. I know well what can happen when a girl loves a man. Are you sure Lucius will want me to be with you? Certainly. Lucius will be very happy to help you. Huh? Now listen to me carefully. Rome is full of spies and it's much too dangerous to enter our hiding place during the day. It's better to wait here until nightfall, then make your way to the third street on the right after the bridge of the Sabura. You'll find a white house. Knock twice softly and twice loudly. We'll all be there waiting for you. Now I must go. We'll meet later. May the gods assist you. And you too, Emilia. Well, and you know where to find Marzia. I know more than that, Leto. I even know where to find Lucius. It's Lucius. Lucius Crassus. I promise you, perhaps tonight you'll have him in your power. By all the gods, Mavius, if you're telling me the truth, you'll be rich. <laughs> With the delicious things Amelia found, I'll prepare you a meal fit for the emperor. Fine. What are you giving us, Pompey? Oh, some tasty boiled turnips. Ah, for ten days now, we've been eating boiled turnips. All right, tomorrow we'll change the menu. Tomorrow, I'll cook you some stuffed turnips. Stuffed turnips? Uh-huh. And what are you going to stuff them with? Well, with other turnips. Ah, quiet, you two. Can't you stop being so stupid? Please forgive us, Lucius. Sometimes the best thing to do is to make stupid jokes when your life's in danger. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. But I'm going mad being cooped up in here. Tell me, Lucius, what do you feel about Marcia's joining us? Do you think we can trust her? Yes, after all, she's been Commodus' mistress for years. I think we can trust her. And I have confidence in Amelia's opinion. And in the meantime, Commodus continues his cruelty and foolishness. Tomorrow he's arranged another big spectacle in the arena. They say he's going to fight the fiercest gladiators from Thrace. Gladiators from Thrace? By the gods, that's the opportunity I've been waiting for. What do you want to do? Get into the arena. How will you manage it? I know the guardian of the gate. Why do you want to? Now listen to me carefully. I'll go into the arena. I know your plan is going to work. It must work. Isn't this what you want of me? That I kill Commodus and proclaim myself Emperor of Rome? That's right, Lucius. Yes, and you're not doing it to gain power. It's your duty. It's your sacred duty to save Rome and your own people. Leave him alone to make up his mind. I've already decided. It's what we've been waiting for, isn't it? It's Marcia. No! Don't open the door, Amelia! Oh. Uh, <laughs> Pompey! Get Amelia away from here! Save him! Oh, 
Bobby, do you know where we can hide? Sure I do. Take Amelia there. I'll join you later. But I want to go with you. Please let me go, Lucius. It would be much too dangerous, and you'd be sure to be captured by the Praetorian guards. Be careful, Lucius. Farewell, Amelia. We'll camp here, men! Gregorian, tell us where you want us to tether the horses! Put those fires out, you daughter's fool! Do you want us to blow trumpets to announce our arrival? Oh, Why have we been ordered horses. to halt, General? Because I want to arrive in Rome with men who are well rested, and not with tired legionaries who are falling asleep. I don't think there'll be any need for us to fight. Neither do I, but just remember this. If you want peace, be prepared for war. Then it might have been better to arrive with the entire legion. Why, that would have meant open rebellion. With only 100 legionaries, it looks as if they are my personal escort. Don't you worry, Horatius. Within three days, we'll be in Rome. You'll continue on the Flaminia. It's the best way I know. I know a shortcut that goes through the olive groves near Sutri. It would shorten the journey by many hours. We haven't any wagons. Why not take it, General? Why is it important to get to Rome so soon? You told me that Lucius had found a hiding place where he'd be safe. Yes, but I've had a presentiment of danger, General. Maybe something has gone wrong. And if there's any kind of trouble, I want to be right there. You see, General, I've decided it's time I started a family. I want to get married and buy a house and land in the country. I must get the money for it somehow. In that case, you should keep away from active combat. On the contrary, Lucius and Panutius already owe me almost a thousand sesterces. I want to bring it up to at least three thousand. But what is this story, Horatius? <laughs> it's too long a story to explain to you. I'd better be on my way to Rome. Farewell, General. Hurry up there! Bring us that hay! Hey, you over there. Unfurl the flags. Legionaries and centurions, be prepared to report to me immediately. Very well, General.
Do you come from Thrace? No, I'm a Roman, just like you. Why are you wearing the armor of a Thracian? Because I prefer it, as you do. Who are you? An emperor, just like you. You? How did you get in here? That's not important. Do you refuse to fight against me? I'll show you! so I can't tell which one of the fighters is Lucius. Neither can I. By the gods, come at us. Stab him! Don't slash at him like that. Otherwise, he'll be able to catch his breath and return to the attack. You want it to be over immediately, this spectacle? Ah, you're quite right. Oh, Horatius. Where's Lucius? He's one of them. We don't know which. Maybe he's the one on the right. He was in trouble to begin with, but now he's picked up. For my money, he began all right, but now... What do you mean? Octavius Craticus can't get here before tomorrow. Oh, no. I took a shortcut through the groves around Sutri, but he preferred to continue by the Flaminian way. By all the guards. That can ruin us. If Lucius doesn't get the better of Commodus, there's no chance for the rest of us. The Praetorians will cut us to pieces. Maybe the people will rebel. The people? Watch them. <laughs> resembles Mars, the god in past. Oh. 
follow me. Has made it. Cranigan's must have changed his mind and taken the shortcut through Sutri just like I did. the death of Commodus, an event that occurred in fair combat. So be it. And the man who killed Commodus was his own twin brother, Lucius Crassus. I, Horatius Craticus, general of the Roman Empire, commander of the Eastern Legions, do bear witness to the royal birth of Lucius Crassus, the son of Marcus Aurelius. Lucius Crassus is our new emperor. He's a brave soldier, an honest man, a just man. He will give back to Rome the splendor and dignity she always had before. Once more in the history of Rome, as it happened already with Romulus and Remus, one brother's blood has been shed for the common good. Long live Lucius Crassus! Yeah! And it is with the greatest joy that I welcome you here in the name of the Senate. O Caesar Lucius Crassus, Emperor of Rome. You have freed us it from seems I have acquired a great emperor and lost my best friend. I think you're right. Lucius will never stop being a friend to all of you. I refuse to cling to such illusions. If you want to spoil the best of men, give them power. What's more, the disappointments that hurt the most will come from his friends. Well, I think it's more than likely. Silence. Friends. I thank you. I have already given my first orders for the assistance and comfort of all the people. They will have fewer taxes and honest administrators. The Praetorian Guard, which will protect them instead of persecuting them, will be commanded by a brave man, an honorable and just man. I place in command of Rome's Praetorian Guard, Centurion Horatius Devaticus. I told you so. The biggest disappointments he'll get from his best friends. I further designate that Marcus Panuncius with the rank of legion commander, will lead the troops now stationed in Gaul. As chief tax collector, I nominate Mucius Pompey. You can rest assured that he will show no favoritism to anyone. Don't be so sure about that. You'll be the first to pay them. And if I find you're not doing your duty, I'll besiege your house. And I will arrest all of you. Silence. These are my last decrees. From this moment on, I'm no longer your emperor. What are you saying? You can't leave us now. Stay with us, Lucius. No, don't leave us, Lucius. Don't leave us. Lucius. Don't leave us. Lucius. Don't leave us. Please, Please listen, my friends. I know nothing about ruling an empire. I'm a good soldier, 
and I hope the new emperor will give me command of a legion. If I remain in a position of which I know nothing, I might become worse than Commodus. Power is a dangerous potion, and I might get drunk on it. Among the senators, there is only one, a wise man who can guide the empire, the friend of Tyrrhenius Crassus, Pertinax. Only history can judge.